So, speaking incredible of, game. Speaking of turtling, <laughs> check out turtlebeach.com for your headsets here. Again, another one of the sponsors of the Capcom Pro Tour. They, uh, you can see, always see it, the players on the stage for all the Capcom Premier events using the Turtle Beach headsets. Yeah, wouldn't be possible without them. Great way to drown out the, uh, the jeers and the cheers and stay focused on your game. Up on the stage right now, of course, at least one man who needs no introduction to the Evo faithful. It is Gamer B, who made his first big splash on the Evo stage, making, uh, yeah, just some incredible dents, and another guy that's really been remarkably, remarkably consistent in his run here. Are they, are, are they, are they starting? Or, oh, this is still button tracks, okay. No, but I mean, the interesting part is that uh, Gamer B actually made his splash into the scene by beating Justin Wong, right? Justin Wong, I believe, who said exactly like, Adon is a terrible character, yes. and then was denied making it into the top eight at EVO by an Adon player by the name of Gamer B. Here's the interesting thing, he took out Justin Wong to make the splash. That was one of the 2009 grand finalists. Yes. To make it into this top eight, he defeated Daigo Umehara, who was the other grand finalist from 2009. So Gamer B has defeated both of those players to make it in the top eight in two separate years. He had called out Daigo specifically as one of his great demons. Daigo has put some nearly embarrassing beatings on him before. Now this is a very tough situation. Of course, Gamer B's opponent, we should say, Knuckle Dew, Team Liquid's Knuckle Dew. This guy, as far as the young up-and-comers, easily number one in America. Oh, yeah. But for my money, maybe the best playing player in America, period, right now. Exactly. He is on an amazing level. Unfortunately, okay, well, we got some shenanigans going on on the select screen here. <laughs> Gamer B uh, was threatening to play Elena, one of his great characters, who is incredibly nasty for Guile. Like, an uh, incredibly difficult fight. But now, strangely, seems to have gone to Adon, maybe opting for a more honest fight. And as a little history here, Gamer B's actually been trolled by some of the strong Japanese players who made fun of him, uh, saying that he was just playing the numbers and he couldn't really win. He wanted to get that Ow. that huge wow. natural character advantage by playing Elena up against characters that she really dominates. So maybe a little bit of salt uh, in Gamer <laughs> B, causing him to make perhaps imperfect decisions here or suboptimal decisions, uh, choosing to play an honest match rather than uh, a char character advantage. Well, in terms of the Capcom Pro Tour, Knuckle Dew is the highest placing American in that points tally right now. Wow, what a flash kick. Uh, if he had done the short Jaguar kick, Jaguar Tooth, which the flash kick probably would have missed. And Knuckle Dew, known for his explosive sort of uh, offensive style guile, it looks like he's playing some Street Fighter 2 here, holding uh, <laughs> firmly down back. Now here he comes, trying to battle his way out of the corner. Okay, the, the, there's the benefit of Guile. Adon has a lot of anti-fireball tools, but Guile recovers so fast, it's hard to take advantage of them. Yeah, they're just a little too slow, uh, except for the EX, which of course hits twice and is fast, but has a longer recovery than the regular Sonic Boom. Yeah, that one didn't even hit him out of the recovery. It would have been a counter hit had it been recovery. But this is dead even so far with some great exchanges. Wow! Oh, Read it the whole way. With those reactions and then trying to close it out, smart stuff. The barrage of fists and feet finally finds purchase. Gamer B on his back in round one. We're looking for that donkey kick, but Gamer B's spacing on that jump in was perfect. Oh, wow, backed off to get out of the throw range, then with a straight to the face. Oh, and here comes Gamer B. And now threatened Dizzy, but this is also just a really dominant position. Very difficult for Guile to come back. Okay, Guile not really going to be able to take advantage of that. Not a lot of good juggles without any charge. Oh no! Oh no! Just eats it. Just eats the jump in raw. And then Gamer B goes for the throw. This should be it. Yeah. yeah Gamer B smelled blood there. Went in for the throw. And Knuckle Dew, I think, had maybe mentally surrendered that round a little bit, realizing it had just not gone his way in a big way after that opening series from Gamer B. Will we see a little bit of the more? Oh, okay. Beautiful oh, adjustment wow. to the adjustment. He knew he was going to land on the Sonic Boom. Did the Jaguar kick. And Guile sweeping, realizing he had to do the Jaguar kick to avoid the Sonic Boom. Managed to catch a back dash with that EX Jaguar 2, but then great recovery here now from Knuckle Dew. And the EX Jaguar 2 is, a, of course, a cross meter, but it's almost a freeway in if Adon wants to get in close and mix it up. Yeah, we mentioned how hard it is. To, oh! Rips out the flash kick with his own uppercut, then does it again! And Knuckle Dew, knowing he had the flash kick, 
he recognized that Gamer B would probably smell it out, but he couldn't take any more chip damage, had to try for a reversal. Doesn't happen. Game one to Gamer B, representing Avermedia. Yeah, looks like uh, this pick of Adon here is working out for him. Yeah, this is basically both of Gamer B's characters are real rough for Knuckle Dew's uh, <laughs> primary choice of Guile. Well, I mean, we're here at the character select screen. This may be a potential character switch, because remember... I assume he doesn't like DiCaprio. I, I would have thought he would have started it. Right. And DiCaprio, again, ate on a pretty mobile character who does some hard-hitting damage. Not the... Yeah, not the easiest natural advantage for DiCaprio. But that Guile, he took, a, he took a beating there in game one. He played well, made some good decisions, but it's just still a tough match. Gamer be deep in thought here while Knuckle Dude ponders his character choice. I did not hear the cursor move. I do believe he is sticking with Guile. Yes, that is what he is going to do. Both of these players with really strong secondary characters. In fact, Elena and DiCaprio was a match we saw earlier, I believe. Yeah. So, and that is a matchup that, um, that is a matchup. Of, those are both characters, I should say, that are kind of like on the up and up. They yep. keep getting stronger and stronger right. and they stronger. Right, started, they started kind of interesting with a couple of things, and they just now sometimes seem, yeah, very difficult to challenge for uh, some of the cast. Knuckle Dew shaking his head there, not maybe with complete confidence, but let's see if he can shake it off. Still a young guy, but a lot of tournament experience and a lot of composure. Gamer B, of course, I, I don't know what this guy does other than play Street Fighter, but... What and else do you is. need? What yeah. else do you need? <laughs> oh, dude, with a big opportunity here. Oh, and trying to meet him in the air. This is the dynamic style that we're used to from Knuckle Dew, and it is putting a dent in Gamer B. Yeah, maybe something during all that break, he was telling himself, wait, why are you playing passive? <laughs> Time to switch it up. You're playing Turtle Guile. Let's go, Knuckle Dew style. And not challenging that. Oh, wow, that was cool. Good pressure, wants to get out of the corner and catches him. That's the knuckle dude we know and love. That's the, the style of Guile that we recognize. The way some people have talked about it, you know, you and I have been playing since the Street Fighter 2 days. Think of Guile as sort of a defensive character. Right. Young guys like knuckle dude don't have that legacy. They can reinvent exactly. the character and think of them as they choose to, rather than the way uh, maybe the designers think of them or, you know, history dictates. Right. He's his own man. He has no preconceived notions of the character That's it. coming into the game. Catches the back dash, tries again, but maybe be hanging tough. Ooh, oh, wow. Both of them whipping there. Oh, he gets him. Not going to spend the meter on the ultra just yet. He smelled it from Knuckleby there. But he's found the back. The screen space Ooh. he needs. He tried to challenge the Jaguar 2. Doesn't come. He is not. There is no down back in his vocabulary right now. He's just in an open screen, back fist to close it out. Beautiful, he knew Gamer B jumped at a range that it looked like Guile couldn't hit him, so he was just gonna empty jump because yeah. he figured all of his moves would win. And then Knuckle Dew swinging out that back fist, catching him by surprise. And now Gamer B doing some thinking, just like that. What looked like a nigh impossible match in game one. I mean, Knuckle Dew was just getting dominated by Gamer B. And he turned it all around with a slight shift in his orientation. He went from defense, and there it is, that same counter we saw earlier. Fierce, fierce, and not trying to press for Dizzy, but doing a ton of damage in the process. Yeah, half-life down for Gamer B already, but great stuff linking into that. Oh, no. Sweep. A big commitment there from Knuckle Dew and pays the price. Yeah, Knuckle, and just like that, Gamer B right back Wow. Down. Wow, stun. Surprise, and Dizzy. Okay. Oh, that's to set up a chip, potentially. Chip dead. Oh, and just gets him with the low fierce. That's a smart button for Gamer B to use. Knuckle Dew's been hitting a lot of buttons, such as standing fierce, and I believe Anon's low fierce will go under those. From the right lot, range, yeah, yeah. A lot better than the standing roundhouse right there. Of course, you can also cancel crouching fierce into the super, Ooh. which he now has oh, for that. a huge amount of chip damage, which went, may come into play. Went for that same mix-up, that meaty uppercut, but this time not enough invincibility to outlast the flash kick. And Gamer B standing so strong, just blocking, not getting baited into any of Knuckle Dew's shenanigans now. Oh, that was just legit overhead. 
Caught him crouching. And he's forced to guess there on the jump in, and he Ooh. guessed wrong. Oh, he, back he, into the boom. He really wanted that fuzzy guard that Gamer B missed it. He was hoping for a stun in that situation. A critical block there from Knuckle Dew, and he finds his way out of the corner. Wants to press, but here comes Gamer B again. He needs that space to back up. Oh, and there he is, just bullying his way in with that EX Jaguar tooth we talked about. Oh, he got him! Oh, he got him! Oh, he got him. And he's going to get out of the corner. He's got the space. Oh, no, got the he did not believe. He did not believe. Gamer but B just woke up with it. Bet the farm on that uppercut. Now, that's, that's one of those things where you have to have your player knowledge. You have to have done your mm -hmm. research on your player. Gamer B likes to hit buttons. He likes to do things like, uh, like a PR rod. Wow, that was a bold flash kick opening there. Knuckle Dude realized he's got to step up his game. He's down 2-1 in this best of three set, best of five set. And with space, he, yeah, he can have this match for real. Once he gets into the corner, the cookie will start to crumble for Knuckle Dude. But he must continually back up both to charge and to maintain the distance to make his normals effective. And here we go, just like you said. Oh, and he's going to use that FADC to get out of the corner. Smart stuff. Oh, oh no! Caught. He wasn't ready for that. Oh, no, he's crumbling here a little bit. Scramble situation. And just like that, he's in the other corner. Oh, and Gamer Chip out situation. Good tap. Oh, he read that the whole way. Gamer B not fooled at all by the overhead attempt from Knuckle Dew, and he lets one slip through his fingers. Gamer B now is at match point. Once again, PR Balrog Knuckle Dew, the only U.S. players left. In this tournament, PR Rog already sent home by Nemo. Gamer B is going to try to repeat that right here. The new generation of American Street Fighter on his last legs here. Smartly not challenging there. He knew he didn't have the button for the spot. Oh, good challenge there. Gets a trade. Oh, and he completes the combo. Very difficult in that situation. Beautiful confirmation. Sitting on a lot of meter as well. Oh, another good fortunate. trade. Yeah, very fortunate that it traded. That could have led to a sweep for. Oh. oh, and Gamer B could have uppercut. Yeah. He paused just a moment and possibly a missed input, possibly uh, mentally just a bit off. Like a, br a brain freeze. Yes, basically. exactly, which is an important part of this game. Yeah. Freezing that's, your opponent's brain. That's exactly what he wanted. He looked like he was going to jump to Sonic Boom, blocked it at the last second, not knuckle due to jump, but just did an uppercut in time. And now Gamer B playing a little more conservatively. Not going in nearly as hard, willing to sit back and try and weather the storm. Yeah, finds that, the jump in. That's a problem when you get a lead and you're at like match point. Yeah. Sometimes you just stop playing aggressive, and we saw that earlier. That With whole point. Yeah, yeah, playing not to lose. Oh, and he has not guessed right on these jump ins from Knuckle or excuse me from Gamer B. And again, getting caught low. He's running out of life. It is still game point. Oh, and again, just the uppercut from Gamer B. Once again, Knuckle G just didn't believe. But as I said, you got to know your opponent, Gamer B, very active. You know, even with Adon, as opposed to someone like Relento or Fuerte, very kinetic with the character.